Hello everyone, Miss Angel no. <coughs> Hello and welcome to PD Channel. One, two, and five. Hello four, and welcome three, to three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PD Channel, Physics Department of New York. Today we will discuss about Sarah Seeger, who along with the NASA affirms we will find aliens in tw ten to twenty years. We will also talk about the zombie theory, how is it possible and how is it not possible, and we will discuss about Project Mars 1. Let's now follow Jack for a more detailed explanation of the extraterrestrial life theory. Hello everyone, I am in front of a NASA station from Los Angeles. Uh, what? No green screen? Well, never mind. So, let's welcome Mrs. Seeger! I miss, I'm not that old, sir. Mm, yes, of course. Uh, so, tell us everything we need to know, please, madam. Of course, I'm gonna keep... So, if you don't already know it, NASA plans on sending the transiting exoplanet surveying satellite in 2017 in order to, uh, to help in the research of extraterrestrial life. In fact, we are predicting finding aliens or even microbes in 10 to 20 years. There is also... And we have heard that you are going to send a... I know my subject, thank you. So as I was saying before you interrupted me, there is another satellite that we are going to launch between 2016 and 2019 with a special message from... The humanity for... For any kind of civilized form of life out there in... In space. The NASA is planning on creating a website where you can put post what you want them to see. In contrast from the 1977 space message, this sign of life will be um, digital and contain one hour of audio where you can hear Hello, but 55 languages. Hey, look on the right. Oh. Sorry for this little incident, but let's continue on with the topics. Oh, hello, Jack. What a pleasure to see you. So, what did you learn with Mrs. Seeger? Miss! But, but I don't know how we can hate people. Oh, like and what else? That I want to... Uh, no, no, no bad words on stage, please. Oh, um, and next time she's... Dead. Oh, look! A unicorn! Where? Where? Let's continue on with the topics and talk about zombies with Jack again. Hello again. So, fans of The Walking Dead, I am sorry to disappoint you, but although a zombie outbreak would be possible in terms of viruses, but they wouldn't be able to survive in this cruel world. Why? Well, first of all, there is too many natural predators out there that are waiting for a dead stupid language for an idiot uncoordinated dead human and think of it have you ever seen a zombie hiding from humans no because they have no notion of self-preservation so they will be eaten alive by a ton of insects dogs bears and all this kind of thing and another thing humans aren't at the top of a food chain for no reason we are tacticians, and we have tanks. If there really was a zombie apocalypse, these swarms of zombies would be pulverized by these invisible tanks. And we also have rednecks. You know weapons, fanatics? So no, you're not going to live in a zombie apocalyptic world anytime soon. Ouch! Let's now talk about the main topic of tonight. Project Mars 1. So, if you don't already know it, 24 persons are going to be sent on Mars. The first group, constituted of 4 persons, will leave in 2026. Their sleeping pods will be already built by robots sent on Mars in 2019. They will have to set up the other habitations for the other pair. They will make up experiment, but most important of all, they will make a TV show about it. Oh, and one unimportant detail, they aren't supposed to come back on Earth. So let's hope that Mrs. Seeger is going. That's all for Project Mars 1. There is plenty of other things to say about it, but our books gave us a time limit.
Thank you for watching the video and if you want to know more about each subject, you can easily uh, check them out on Google. Thank you!